man of Alcatraz. A strange name for a motion picture? Perhaps. But it's the story of one of the strangest men who ever lived. A real story, a real man, a man who is living today. Robert Stroud, American, a convict. Yet, in his achievement, in his fierce independence, he reflects the ideals of the country whose laws he shattered. You know, I think I've got you figured out, Shoemaker. First day I came here, you as much as asked me to get down on my knees and whip her. I wouldn't do it then, I won't do it now. I won't lick your hand, and that's what eats you, ain't it, Keeper? Well, you keep this in mind. A man ain't whipped until he quits, and I'll never give you that pleasure. Well, get out of here. I'll never forget you as long as I live. No matter what happens to me, no matter where I am, if I ever get a chance to punish you further, I'll do it. Robert Stroud, American, a convict, a paradox of a man who has lived in an aura of violence, yet who out of defiance and sheer strength of will taught himself in a prison cell half a dozen languages and mastered the intricacies of a score of scientific subjects, an accomplishment to stagger the imagination. You think Stroud's quite a man, don't you? I think he's a genius. Robert Stroud, American, genius, a convict. Stell, you can save my neck. How? Bob, you know I'd do anything. Now listen, how would you like to marry me? During the 43 years he spent in solitary confinement, this amazing man did not break bread with another human being, never saw an airplane on the ground, nor sat behind the wheel of an automobile, never saw a television set, read a newspaper, or heard a radio broadcast. He has been in prison for more than half a century. He is still there. But they have not been able to break this man. They have yet to bring him to his knees or black out the fantastic brain that worked a miracle. Robert Stroud, American, a convict, a man who to this day is unbeaten, unbowed, unconquered. They call him the Birdman, and he is the most defiant man alive.